So I got the uprights taken back apart. I'm gonna flip them back over. I wanted to simulate one inch spacer blocks with the Aerostar coils. I keep reading it can't be done. These coils have been on here for almost two years now, or probably two years. So I don't think they're gonna settle much more than they've already settled. If they do, maybe a tiny bit, and I can always shave the blocks down some. If the arm starts hitting, I have no bump stop. I didn't have a bump stop in my 51 either. I had the same setup. It worked fine. Um, no, I did have stock springs on that car, and I never measured this because I never really gave it much thought. But I don't see this compressing three more inches to hit. So I think I'm going to make the blocks out of aluminum, and I'm going to run it. From everything I've read, the geometry on the steering is the same, so it won't need to be adjusted. If it does, I'll rip them apart. I'll put the fat man dropped arms on it. So there we have it. I'm going to try it. All right, spacers are made. I was going to film while I was making them. Well, two of them were made, I should say. This is how it started off. It was a long block of aluminum. 15 bucks. I cut it into eight and a half inch sections. And... I'm trying to get filthy right now. The local Ace didn't have enough grade 8 bolts, so I had to buy two grade 5s that I'll replace at a later date. That's no biggie. Not worried about that. Alright. So there they are. I was going to use... I bought some round bar. I was gonna cut it into one inch sections and drill holes in it, but it would have been almost impossible. Probably would have been faster than trying to line these holes up, believe it or not. These things are like, I don't even know, man. It took forever to get the holes marked right, but they're good now. So I need to do these two for the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock those out, but this is what it is. And this is just a temporary fix. I'm undecided if I uh, want to step the control arms or if I want to do Fat Man Uprights again. Had a horrible experience with the old set, but Shoebox Central says that they've changed them and they don't have all the issues that they used to have. But I'm definitely going to buy their steering arms for this. So that'll get me 300 bucks into it. So then another six and I'll have the uprights, but we'll see. The scrub line issue was what got me last time. That's what made me do this. So that's it. Spacers, two inch drop, one inch spacers, 15 bucks, done. from an eighth, <clears throat> up an eighth of an inch until right now this is half inch. Give me a little bit of play in the block. Shouldn't need it, but you never know. Make sure your table's dead level. Make sure your, uh, you file off all the lip. And there we go, they're drilled. All right, let's see how fast we can get this front suspension back together. So, putting the lower arm on with the spacers. Back in the factory holes for now. 
just to see how I like it. If I don't like it, or if it's not, I don't think it's gonna work, then I'm going back with, uh, I'm going back with uh, I'm flipping the uprights and I'm gonna figure it out from there. Got these lock washers because the nuts have been on and off a handful of times now. So let's go. Here we go. I had it apart in about 10 minutes. So I'm trying to get it back together and not much longer of a period of time. That shock might have to come off, I don't know yet. That part I haven't figured out, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. Hopefully y'all can see this and you're not just looking at my head. As long as it comes all the way through this nut that I'm running with it, and it should, it should be very close. Very, very, very close. Putting these lock washers on, I don't know if I really need them or not, but for peace of mind, I'm putting them on anyway. Just in case. I want you to buy new metal lock nuts and the diameter was bigger and off the top of my head i didn't know if they would work so i got these instead now i'm thinking they would have worked and they probably would have been just fine and yes i am going to torque these down to the right number which is 50. at 45 to 55 i'm going 50. to some of them. I wish I would have taken the suspension off before I did uh, the motor mounts because I have a clear shot right to those bolts now, which I didn't have before. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, so now, got a new torque wrench. I watched a million tests between this one and Snap-on. And this is supposed to be just as good, if not better. So I didn't realize uh, my camera stopped as I was bolting on the lower arm. Had this all the way up to ride height, and it had about three inches of clearance between the control arm and the frame. So I think we're good there. If it hits, it's going to be super rare and never happen. Got the arm in position. So now I need to get the new outer tie rod end and adjusting uh, sleeve, put it all on and see how we're looking as far as how level it is with the rest of the steering system to see how we're going to do for bump stop. But anyway, that's how the spacers look bolted on. I'm going to go ahead and throw the other side on real fast. And that is it. Worst case scenario, I'm taking the spacers out and I'm going to raise it up two inches, I guess. I really don't want to. But we'll see how it goes. We're hoping for the best.